In my previous uh, video, I briefly spoke about primary key, uh, and in this uh, video, I would like to further extend uh, uh, the discussion uh, about primary keys, um, and I will discuss about something called auto incrementing primary key. Uh, so, if you can recall from my previous video, uh, after the creation of this table, employee, uh, we entered some information into the employee table. And not only that we entered uh, the first name and last name of the employees, but we also provided uh, a unique value um, for ID every time we entered um, a new information. Uh, uh, and uh, that seems a reasonable approach for a relatively small quantity of data, but uh, when um, the uh, but just imagine uh, what will happen when the volume starts to grow more and more. Uh, it will become an increasingly difficult job uh, to ensure that we are providing a unique value for the ID. Uh, so SQL Server provides um, uh, us with uh, the ability to create a table in such a manner uh, that uh, managing the values of ID becomes responsibility of uh, the database of SQL Server and we can achieve that using something called identity. Uh, so, so we can use identity and uh, with this uh, in place uh, what will happen is that once we create uh, an employee table um, the value of ID will automatically be um, uh, assigned to each of the rows every time a new row is created by the database itself. Uh, but this identity is not going to be sufficient. We'll have to provide a starting value. Uh, so the very first record uh, in the employee table uh, will have a, a, a value uh, for ID, um, a value of one for the ID uh, column. And then we'll have to provide uh, an, uh, an incremental value, uh, which is going to be one as well for this case. And that means uh, that every time a, a, an insert operation is executed on this employee table, uh, the ID will be increased uh, by a value of one. In fact, uh, let me just for the purposes of this demonstration, let me set this incremental value as two. So that means that every time a new row is inserted or created in employee table, uh, the value for ID will be increased by two. So with that uh, in place, I will execute this creative command and it has executed successfully and we can now see an employee table with all the columns in place. And if I try to enter information in this uh, table. Let's say I want to specify first name and last name as Frank Underwood uh, for the first employee. And if I tab out, I will see that the database has automatically uh, given a value of one to this ID. Uh, now let me enter the information about the second employee, Walter White, and if I tab out from here, I will see that it will uh, specify a value of 3 uh, after uh, applying an increment of 2. And you can see that now the value of ID is 3. So now it has become database responsibility uh, to uh, assign values to this ID. Uh, and it will ensure uh, that uh, not only the IT ID is incremented as um, uh, was specified in uh, this statement over here, but also uh, the ID is unique uh, in every row. Uh, 